Oh, man. Oh, I guess it's time to go to London now. Oh, I gotta film everything. I'm not used to this. <laughs> oh. Well, I made it. I'm jet lagged as hell. Got the worst sleep on the plane, but I'm here in London. The hotel room. Let's see the view. Ooh, ooh. What is this? South and down still water. That's pretty cool. Look at the size of this bed though. Turn on lights. Oh, ooh. Ooh, damn. Oh, oh, this is a nice washroom. Yeah, that, okay, so that's the hotel. I am going to have some fun uh, for the past uh, next three days. I am tired, I gotta go to bed. Uh, so good night. All right, all right. Let's back it up a little bit because some of you guys are probably wondering how did this Canadian hoser get invited to London to see Sleep Token at Wembley? Well, it all started with the support band Health, who I'm a big fan of, had them on the podcast without realizing they're actually opening for Sleep Token at Wembley. You and like Sleep Token are some of my favorite. Yeah, if, you, if you want lists, we could we could hook it up if you want to fly out. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you're you're press you're a press guy, you know? Yeah. You're an influencer. They're important. You're a big wheel at the Cracker Factory. So I flew out of Toronto on Thursday, December 14th. I landed in London on the following Friday. And to be honest, not a lot happened on Friday. I was super tired. I was jet lagged, so I crashed in the hotel room. But then when I woke up, decided to explore a little bit, get familiar with the Wembley area. I checked out this cool pub called White Horse where I had amazing fish and chips and one of the best beers I've ever had. Look at the bubbles. And that beer, seriously. And then I just walked around, checked out another pub. I checked out a McDonald's, was eating all the things that I don't have in Canada, like this pineapple stick, which was super weird. I went to another pub, you know, I was just eating and indulging and taking it all in and decided to crash early because I know Saturday was going to be a big day because that is the historic Wembley Arena show where Sleep Token sold out the show in 10 minutes for all 10,000 attendees. <laughs> we did it. What's happening, bro? How are you? Right. Good, man. Good. Nah, I finally found your O's around with the other person. <laughs> I was so stoked to finally meet Drew. I love this guy's content. He's exactly like how you expect in person. Then afterwards met Steve OG, another YouTuber. I'm not just saying this to be a critic. It's not. <laughs> I agree, I agree. <laughs> Steve then introduced us to his brother Paul, who's the man. These guys are all super nice, including this fan who we interviewed for upcoming content. Speaking of fans, I do want to say that this was one of the most special moments of my life where, to be honest, I kind of felt famous. And I'm well aware when I say that, it sounds really narcissistic, but it was just so cool to see the impact that the channel has had and the people that want to come up and say hi and take photos and it wasn't just me of course it was steve it was also drew we all have these great channels and um, okay now i'm sounding really narcissistic <laughs> oh my channel's so great i digress the fact that the people were coming up and saying hi and were so welcoming they were so sweet it's just such a positive feeling that hey 
we are doing good things for the metal scene at least we're trying to you know i talk in front of a camera all the time and you see views you see likes you see comments but it's much different having that human to human interaction right so when people are coming up and talking about our channels or just talking about music it's so appreciated a lot of people were very shy the sleep token discord server apparently was talking about me and drew and stuff taking photos of us like i saw some of the photos you guys were taking the photos of the back of my head <laughs> <laughs> but come up and say hi next time we really don't mind we actually appreciate that more than just uh seeing us but uh letting us be right and thinking that we don't want our peace disrupted and it's actually quite the opposite we were actually interviewing people trying to get people to participate so that's why we actually love talking to people we love talking to people about music so guys just thank you for watching the channel thank you for supporting us uh seeing that human to human interaction makes it worth it at the end of the day you know here's sleep token fans lining up for this historic concert afterwards i went to go meet johnny from health he took me backstage where i saw them opening up some crackers because in the states i guess they've never done that and then afterwards i was able to actually interview the guys and again these guys all awesome guys everyone on this trip were so nice so welcoming Johnny is the man I wouldn't have come to this concert if it wasn't for Johnny and I absolutely appreciate his generosity so after interviewing the guys of health it was time to watch them live so we actually left the green room I made my way through the corridor I got into the crowd and actually got a good spot and was able to capture some stuff on my iPhone so here is some footage that I got of health performing from their Wembley show Dude, health was awesome. These guys aren't for everybody. They first started off as like noise rock and now they're like industrial metal wave, synth wave, very unique band. I was hoping for a couple more songs I was a little bit more familiar with, but I still had a great time. So after that set, I went back to the green room, went to the fridge, grabbed a couple more beers because they were offering. These guys are so generous. So honestly, I was getting a little bit lit. <laughs> It was great, man. It was awesome. And they're so freaking generous. They were giving me random shit like a butt plug and <laughs> condoms because these guys that are just different. Okay. Uh, and come metal forever. Come metal forever. But it was time for the main event. Sleep token. Once it became time to show up for sleep token, I left the green room again, made my way through the corridor, found a good spot where it was packed. I've never been to a concert that big for a metal show and we don't get a lot of festivals in Canada so this was a really big deal for me and Sleep Token is a band that I've been listening to since 2018 when I first discovered Jaws. This was such a historic night I was also a little bit nervous I can only imagine what the band was going through even for me as a listener just being nervous but then also being backstage and just seeing some of the ins and outs of everything that was going on. So. It was time. Here is a lot of footage that I got from Sleep Token. And if you want a good recapturing of the Sleep Token show, watch Steve OG's video. He did a great job summarizing the entire concert. Here is a montage reel of my favorite moments that I captured for Sleep Token at Wembley Arena. Enjoy.
So at this point of the show, the music stopped, and then I thought we were actually getting like a special occurrence just for this show, but actually, it was a unfortunate event that happened, which was Vessel losing his voice. I'm sure most of you already know the news, but yeah, Vessel lost his voice, and I'll be honest, I was a little bit gutted. I came all the way from Canada to hear him sing, and to hear that news sucked, but I know it sucked for the band too. And it's not the first time I've been to a concert where a band, the vocalist has lost their voice. One of my favorite bands, Protest the Hero, he lost his voice and the rest of the band just carried on. And it actually made it more special and more eventful when the whole crowd was actually singing the music and singing the guitar lines. So with this, I actually thought, okay, you know what? The fans are going to make up for it. I know. And they did.
I'm not afraid to admit that I fucking cried. I did because there's a few reasons why. Obviously, between Vessel losing his voice, the pain in his voice, the lyrics being relatable at times, and also my YouTube life coming full circle when I first featured Sleep Token four years and a bit ago with Nazareth and just seeing how far my channel has taken me and given me this opportunity has made me so emotional that when they played Bloodsport, which was an extra encore song just for this show, I don't think I've ever felt that way in any concert where I was just crying. My eyes were just starting to water and I, I tried, <laughs> I did try to fight it, um, but I, I couldn't. And I think that's the only time I've cried at a concert. And I'm not trying to sound like a tough guy, but it's more just like... I hear sad music and it doesn't always get me. But this show was so special to everyone there. There was just so much energy from the crowd and from the band and just a lot of things coming fulfilled from my end that I wept. It was an eventful experience and even watching some of the footage makes me emotional because I will forever hold this moment dear to my heart. The opportunity of a lifetime and I'm so thankful for it. But the night was not over. Afterwards, I went to a party with health and that's all I'll divulge on that topic but I had an incredible night an unforgettable night now let's move on to day three because the weekend continued still more sleep token discussion with amazing amazing people that I met this weekend <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Okay, sorry. 
react to the background. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put Rick Astley. I'm gonna put no. I'm gonna overdub it. Rick Astley or something. Drew's been working on a caption for the past hour for Instagram. You can't see it's out of focus, but I'm sure it's a great photo. Yeah. <laughs> Explain to me, why is there wind in the underground? Alright, let's go. And that's the last footage I took before I flew back home and I've been working on this video for quite some time so now different time of day. This video has been so much work but it's been the biggest reward because obviously this opportunity is an opportunity of a lifetime that I'm eternally grateful for. Meeting amazing people like Drew Fortune and Steve who both are exactly like how you would picture them in person. They are so genuine. They are so fun. They are so kind. And then also meeting such amazing fans at the venue, making me feel at home in a foreign country. I truly, truly appreciate it. And of course, Johnny from Health who invited me out. I'm eternally grateful for that opportunity. Then Sleep Token putting on a historic monumental show for everyone that is something that everyone will cherish that was part of it or even if you're a fan from the sidelines you can still appreciate it this was such an amazing experience that i'll never forget for the rest of my life and what makes it more special too is that in the beginning of this year in january for people who've been following my channel and my other socials i did mention that i want to make some severe changes to my channel because it was plateauing right once making those changes sleep token started dropping music i started changing my editing and the way that i make videos and i hit a hundred thousand subscribers i got my milestone plaque my instagram dropped from seven thousand followers to fifty thousand followers like this was a monumental year for growth and self-improvement and to end the year by going to this opportunity just shows how the reward for taking these risks and how much is paid off. And I honestly couldn't have done it if it wasn't for sleep token. So I'm eternally grateful for this opportunity. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and this video. I would love to do more content like this in the future if more opportunities like this arise, but this was definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. <sighs> but other than that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.